Hey guys, Shane here with the Today I have a 2014 BMW X1 and I want to walk through how to install the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver. One thing when you think about a BMW, you think about class. Um, I really like the way this hitch looks on here. You can see the cross tube is completely hidden behind the bumper fascia. The only thing we can see is our receiver tube, so it maintains that nice classy look of the vehicle. We're going to have a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening, reinforced collar to give us a little extra stability there. Hitch pin hole is going to be 5 8 inch in diameter. It's going to take a standard 5 8 hitch pin. Hitch pin and clip does not come with this hitch, however it can be found here at e-trailer. We're going to have rolled steel safety chain loops. You can see very large openings. It's going to accommodate very large safety chain hooks. This is going to be a steel construction, black powder coat finish, so it's really going to stay looking nice. It's really going to help resist any rust or corrosion. Now I'm going to give you a few measurements and weight ratings to help you when deciding on any of your hitch mount accessories you may need, such as bike racks, ball mounts, and cargo carriers. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the bumper, there's going to be about three inches. That number is important for any of your hitch mount accessories that may fold up against the vehicle. You want to make sure they're not going to make contact. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube is going to be about 13 inches. Keep that number in mind for any of your hitch mount accessories that may require a little bit more ground clearance. As far as our weight ratings. We're going to have a 250 pound max tongue weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. So when you're putting a bike rack on or a cargo carrier, you want to make sure you're not exceeding that downward pressure. We're going to have a 2,500 pound gross trailer weight, which is how much the hitch can pull. That's going to be the trailer plus the load included. Always recommend checking the owner's manual of the BMW. Make sure the BMW can handle that amount of weight. You're going to go with the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how to get it installed. To start our installation, we're going to take a small drill bit we're going to have a rivet on this lower uh, silver section. We need to drill a hole right through the center so we can remove the rivet. We're going to take an 8 millimeter socket and remove this bolt, this one, this one, this one, and these front two right here. We're going to have another rivet on this side. We're going to do the same thing as we did on the other. Then we're going to start removing this lower section. We're just going to start on one side and we're just going to pop it loose. Once we get it loose, we'll just set it aside and be reinstalled later. We're going to take a 10 millimeter socket. We're going to remove these two bolts. We'll set this aside. Then we're going to remove this one and this one so we have enough room to get up behind our fascia. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the two rubber hangers on our exhaust so that we can get to the bolts up inside here. We don't want to damage this. So it's going to give us enough wiggle room just to get this out of the way. Take some soapy water. You spray it on each hanger. You take a pry bar. And we're going to pry, pry that end off. We'll do the same thing over here. We're going to take an 18 millimeter wrench to remove this lower nut and this one on the inside top here on both sides. We're going to take an 18 millimeter socket. We're going to remove this bolt right here. This bolt will not be reinstalled. Next, in your kit, you're going to get several washers that look like this. We're going to take them, we're going to stack, stack them on each one of these studs. 
until we get them to where this outside edge of this is even with the washers. We're gonna do that on all four studs where we remove the nuts. Next, we'll go ahead and get our hitch into place. We're gonna slide it over top of each one of the studs. And then we'll reinstall the flange nuts that were removed earlier. Then you're gonna take an 18 millimeter socket. You're gonna tighten and then torque your four bolts up on the top side of your hitch. Once we get our hardware up on our hitch, tightened and torqued, we can go ahead and reinstall the bolts for our underbody panels. You're gonna have a bracket that looks like this. This flat side, we're gonna feed it right up behind our receiver tube. And we're gonna have a hole on each side. We're gonna put a bolt through from the outside going in on each side. And then we're going to put a flange nut on. We'll leave those loose for now. You're going to have two square spacers that look like this. They're going to sit right here. You're going to have a bolt, conical tooth washer. Make sure the teeth are facing towards the bracket. We're going to go up through and we're going to bolt it right through that hole. We'll remove that brace or that bolt on our support brace. And we're going to take an 18 millimeter socket. We're going to tighten and torque the two bolts here. We're going to take a 19 millimeter socket and torque this bolt here to the specifications and the instructions. Once you're done torquing your lower hardware, go ahead and reinstall your exhaust, and then we can start putting our lower piece of fascia on. Once you get your panel back in place, it's just going to pop right in place. Go ahead and reinstall your hardware. Your kit is gonna come with two new rivets. However, it's not gonna come with the rivet gun. Um, you should be able to rent a rivet gun from any local hardware or auto parts store. And it's just gonna be a plastic rivet gun. We'll have one rivet for each side. It's gonna replace the ones that we took out. Once you get your rivets put back in place, you're ready to go. That's gonna do it for a look at an installation on the Curt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver on your 2014 BMW X1.